Hi everyone. So today I'm really excited to share with you my morning skincare routine. So this routine I can get done in maybe five to seven minutes and the focus is all on anti-aging. So I'm focusing on boosting collagen, hydration, all of that good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. Okay, so something somewhat random I do is I like to sip on this uh, BT Fountain Youthful Skin and Deep Hydrating uh, Electrolyte Mix from Peak. So it is really tasty. It's the yuzu and berry flavor, and it's full of hyaluronic acid and ceramides. So what I'm doing is my skincare on my face, but I'm also getting some extra sort of skincare benefits uh, just by sipping this as well. Okay, so step one, of course, is to cleanse my skin. So I have very sensitive uh, rosacea prone skin. Uh, so I like to use a sensitive skin cleanser. The one I'm enjoying at the moment is this one from Pacifica. It is a creamy gel cleanser. It'll remove anything that I have on my skin from last night, which is my nighttime routine. And I just um, dampen my face there and then I'll use one of these little magic eraser little uh, towels. I'll put some of this on here. Just one or two squirts is all you really need of this one. And then I'll just apply it to my face in a circular motion. You don't have to use this uh, little magic eraser towels if you don't like to, but um, I just find that I like to use these. So I've just washed my face to remove the last of that cleanser. So now what I'm gonna do is add some serums. Like I said before, I'm really focusing on hydration, uh, reducing those fine lines, boosting collagen, and I also have some hyperpigmentation that I'm working on as well. So I really like the Matrixel 3000 from Depology. This one is really nice. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. Alternatively, I like to use a hyaluronic acid serum. This one is really lovely. It's made from seaweed, so that's very cool. And for hyperpigmentation, I really like the Depology uh, NAT serum. This one is the pigment correcting serum. That is really, really lovely. Alternatively, a more affordable option is the uh, Niceramide from The Ordinary. This one is really lovely as well. And last but not least, I like to add vitamin C in the morning. So this one from Herbal Face Food is really, really lovely. It's a lesser known product, but it is so full of vitamin C. It's fantastic. My skin really, really likes it. So now to apply the serums, I really like to mix my serums up depending on the day. And also just so over the week, I can get a good selection of different serums into my skin. Uh, and it's also like too many serums to apply in one one time. So I like to sort of switch it up today. I'm going to go with the Matrixel 3000. This is an awesome, awesome product. I think this is the second or third bottle that I've bought from them and I really, really love it. So let's just apply a little bit of that to my face with all these products, the serums, a lot goes a really long way. You really don't need too much. Okay, so we're just gonna put a few little dots around. Okay, and then we're just gonna like pat it in. So this one is really, really lovely for anti-aging. Okay, so that soaks into the skin very, very quickly. Very, very nice. Really, really like this one. So I just wait a couple of seconds between each uh, serum just for it to soak into my skin. And then I'm going to go in with the herbal face food, the cure. So just give it a little shake. You just need a couple of drops. And what I love about this is that it is super, super full of vitamin C. Have I got enough on there? Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna pat that in. Just go back and add a little bit more up here. Okay. I normally go down my neck and to my chest here, but with this on, it's a little bit more difficult. 
I normally have like, you know, my top off. <laughs> I just have my bra on or whatever, but for YouTube, we can't do that. Now I'm gonna go in and just add a little bit of eye cream just under my eye here. This one from Ilia is my favorite and it has caffeine in it. So it just helps brighten and boost up these under eyes. Okay, so you just squeeze that there. Some will come out and you just dab that under the eye. Okay, dab that under the eye. Okay, and then the other side you can see is really nice and smooth. We're just gonna go in and just smooth that out. Feels really nice and cooling and really lovely. You could do this with your ring finger if you wanted to, but using this tool is really nice too. So we're nearly finished, just a couple more steps to go. So like I said before, I have very sensitive skin, rosacea, you can probably see some red marks on my skin here. So what I like to do is use a very sensitive moisturizer. This one from First Aid Beauty is their Ultra Repair Cream and it has uh, oatmeal. So that is really beautiful and soothing. As you can see, this is almost gone. I use this every single day and it's just great. My skin loves it. Okay, so let's just apply a little bit here and there. And then I'm just gonna gently, so yeah. If you have sensitive skin, I highly, highly recommend this one from First Aid Beauty. It's been my go-to for, mm, it must be like three years I've been using this one, maybe longer, four or five years. I really, really enjoy it. My skin really, really reacts well to it. <laughs> and trust me, I have tried every single moisturizer under the sun. So my skin is just so sensitive. So yeah, as you can see, it soaks in very, very quick and very nicely. Now to lock in the beautiful serums and that moisturizer, I'm going to add just a couple of drops of the Biosance uh, Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Okay, so we're just gonna add a couple of little drops. Honestly, the tiniest, tiniest amount. So I know with the Vitamin C, you would normally add that at the serum steps, but with this one, this is a little different. You add this one after the moisturizer because it's an oil. It just locks in all that beautiful moisture. So as you can see, I now have really nice glowy skin, nice and hydrated, but we want to of course protect that before we leave the house and go out for the day. So I'll show you a sunscreen that I really, really enjoy. So my number one go-to is this one from Supergoop. It's their matte screen. So this one is really great. It's the one I'm gonna to use today. And it's also fantastic as a makeup primer. I usually use this one on the days where I'm putting makeup on or I want to have just that extra protection. It is 40 SPF, but the other thing I really love about it, and I'll show you now, is it has a tint to it. So this one, it's not gonna leave a white cast or at least it doesn't on my skin and it just comes out like this. It is so fluffy, it's a whipped sunscreen. So let's just put a little bit on. I like to go fairly thick with my sunscreens. I'm all about sun protection. So this sunscreen is really, really lovely. As you can see, it's just melting into my skin just so easily, so lovely. And because it has that tint to it, it's not leaving a white cast and it's actually helping to smooth out that redness I have on my cheeks there, any sort of hyperpigmentation. It just helps to even those colors out a little bit. So yeah, really, really recommend this one. It is my absolute go-to sunscreen, has been for, when did this come out? Was it a couple of years ago? As soon as this one came out, I grabbed it and I've been die hard for this one ever since. So whenever Supergroup has a sale, I'll jump online and I'll buy a bunch of those because I know I'm gonna use it. This is such a great sunscreen. 
Okay, and then the very last step is we need to do something for these lips. So if I'm gonna go outside very soon after doing my skincare, I will use one of the MD Solar Sciences uh, lip balms. Yeah, lip balm. It is an SPF 30 and they are very nice and hydrating. So this one is in the color Bear. So I'll just pop that on. Hard to do when you're talking. But they have so many different colors. They have red, they have blush, all sorts of nice pinkish colors. And the nice thing is you're getting like some color on your lips, but you're getting 30 SPF too. So we love that. And if I'm just staying around the house, I'm not looking for SPF on the lips. I will just grab my uh, Pacifica Glow Baby Lip Gloss, or lip balm. And it's really lovely. It has a slight tint to it as well. And we just add a little bit here. Hmm. Okay, so that is pretty much my skincare routine. So everything is linked down below in the description box. I've got links to everything there. Uh, some of them also have like little discount codes, maybe, I can't remember what they were, maybe 10% or 20%. So make sure you take advantage of that, get a little discount, it's really nice. Uh, and I will soon be doing my evening routine. It has a few extra steps, but normally in the evening we have a little bit more time. So keep an eye out for that one. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!